are you doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've had a few uh, requests in the comment section. Can you go and try this a big sausage? A big pigs in blankets. So I thought I'll give it a whirl. Come and have a look what I got. And here it is. I went to Iceland and I got this. It's a luxury 2x extra large. Pigs in blankets, extra large sausages wrapped in smoked streaky bacon, 500 grams. And there is the serving suggestion. I've done something like this before on the channel. I did twisted extra large sausages or XXL sausages. So I thought, yeah, I do, I do like a lovely sausage. I must admit, I do like a bit of pork. I did, no matter how I say that, I, I, it, just, it just sounds wrong, doesn't it? I like sausage. I do like sausage. I like bacon as well. So, pigs in blankets. Anyway, these were five pounds, five quid, so two and a half quid a sausage. Yeah, not cheap. I know exactly what you're saying. Nothing is in Iceland anymore, is it? It's going up and up and up. Anyway. There is 500 grams, some spiel there. Uh, two seasoned pork sausages filled into beef collagen casing wrapped in smoked streaky bacon. There is nutritional information there if you want to pause that. Um, per half a pack, so we've got 387 calories a sausage, I would imagine. There are the ingredients. Allergens are sulfite and wheat. Uh, let's have a look at the sausage. Pork sausage, 76% pork. 72 percent uh, so that's quite low really i would imagine these needs to be up around the 89 to 90 percent for me but best go to your local butchers get your own bacon there their own sausage support your local but these are in our supermarkets it's got smoked streaky bacon 24 percent we have to see what they like they're the ways to cook you do them in the oven, from frozen, from defrost, it's up to you. So my, these are frozen, they've been in the freezer. Fan 180, gas 6 for 35 minutes. And I've got some more spiel at the top there about defrosting. Look, ensure product is fully cooked, piping hot, and the juices run clear. Right, let's get this open and see what we've got. Ooh, I've just seen that on there, look. PL. I would imagine that is a Poland. I would imagine that is the origin of the meat. It doesn't say, but with that PL stick, oh, there it says, origin of pork, EU, produced in Poland. It says, Polish pork. So let's, we've got a tab system, look at that. Let's see if we can get into it. So, never see, not, they are just, well, I mean anyway. I mean, and that's what you get. These are very similar to them twisted ones. They, they, they were like this as well. So we have a best before date there. 2024, June next year. Frozen on, 14th of September. That's when they were frozen. We're in November. Uh, December, uh, November. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> get it right, Morgan. <laughs> Solid as a rock. We need to get into these, don't we? So there's going to be no tab system on here. So you need a knife or some scissors. I can't find the scissors. So I've got a knife. Always away from you. So always away. So we'll get into them. I'm going to have them both. My wife is going to have one. And you might have seen these here. Baguettes. They're going in these. Um, we're going to put them in them, and I think one will fit in there, and one will fit in the other. So, sausage, remember the pigs in blanket baguette, hot baguette. I would imagine these are out for, I mean, you can have these any time, can't you? I mean, <laughs> look at that, look at that. So there's more fatty bacon on this one than there is on this one. But they are properly wrapped in bacon. There's no mistake in that. Going on a baking tray, they go, in, they go on like that, that just in so fits, and you have to turn them halfway through. So that's what I'll do. 
so yeah they're about the same size as that's perfect perfect for a nice nice sort of warm baguette buzzer's gone off telling me it's preheated at 180 so they're going in on the bake setting fan assisted oven you can turn the fan off as well on this oven if you want 35 minutes at 180 degrees put these on here it does warm them up not sponsored by the, the sage you do these and just giving you well you know anyway people who've got one they're great for warming your your plates up and i'll bring you back periodically they've been in um what about three or four minutes now and look at all the water that's come out i know they've been frozen but look at all this i'm just trying to sort of split them and um they're sort of both wrapped to them they're not individually wrapped by the look of it they're both sort of wrapped together so i have sort of split them apart but Right, I'll go back in. These baguettes were from Tesco. They're um, 85 pence. There they are. You can get these in Aldi as well. You can get them all over actually. They're sort of they're in all the shops. Sausages are at half time stage, so I'm just going to turn them over, trying to keep the the bacon. Oh, it's cool. Be trying to keep the bacon on them. If I can, that seems to be on there, that one's, oh no, that's falling off. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, grease proof paper split. So we're going to get one decent one and the other one's at it. Got me buns. I'm going to put them in here, they've last for going for 10 minutes and hopefully they might soak up some of the old um, juices there. That's what I'll do. I think these are done don't want them to go too hard because they go too crispy oh, get in there I think um, yeah oh yeah just got them in time I've done these before when I've pro properly over overdone them so I'm gonna butter these as well you can stick stick your old red sauce brown sauce put what you want in them load of onions would be nice load of fried onions as well Oh yeah, maybe black pudding. Let's get some butter, because that's nice and warm. That'll just all melt in there now nicely. That's that's the plan anyway. <laughs> They're done. There they are, so I'm going to get this sausage out first, uh, this is, looks the best and I'm going to give that one to my to my wife, they just go in there nicely, look at that, like that, and then we'll, we'll get a look at this one, I don't, I've got this, I've got this, there's a warm plate on there as well, so, but I just thought I'd show you it first, we'll chop it up and we'll have a look, it smells smoky, let me, let me get rid of that. And um, we'll, we'll cut it, I'll just cut this end off, we'll get into this bit. Have I have had the thermometer in? Have a look in there, see what you think. See what this is all about. Mm. It's very salty, with a, obviously a sausage wrapped in bacon. There's your bacon. This bit's a bit sort of thin and anemic looking, this bit. Mm. I think all the salt's rendered out of the bacon and gone into the sausage. I'll have another go. Mm. Smoky. No gristle, not come across any. If I do come across any, I'll, I'll let you know in the description. Because you don't want to see me eating all this. I'll tell you what it does need. It needs some brown sauce for me. That's what's going to happen. 
Me being a daddy, got to have the daddy sauce. <laughs> I got this ages ago when I did a I did a brown sauce comparison. I think that'll do. I'll get that in there like that. Get that bit of bacon in there, and that's how it's going to be. Added. Just like that. Verdict: Would I buy it again? Is it tasty? It is tasty. It is very salty. If you've got a local butcher's, go and go around theirs and buy some sausage, some lovely Cumberland sausage, or whatever whatever local sausage is near you. Buy some lovely bacon. Make your own. Make your own. Five pounds, could you get sausage and bacon? You could get sausage and bacon in your local butchers for five pounds. But these are in our supermarkets. So I, that's why I review them, to show you if they're any good or not. Personally, I wouldn't buy them again, but I'm glad I've tried it. I'm gonna get into it now, with that brown sauce. And I'm gonna get have that as my lunch. So thanks very much for watching. For taste, that's a seven out of 10. Maybe seven and a half. Let me know your comments. I'll be very interested. And thanks for watching. Take care, all the best, and I'll get back to you on the next one.